know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. Yes, I'm good, yes, I'm good. Hey you guys, welcome back to Taylor XO or welcome to Taylor XO if you are a new subscriber. So y'all, let's get into this video. So I don't know if a lot of you have heard or I haven't really seen much of the reactors speaking on it. I mean, I have seen a few speak on it, but uh, this information did come from a reactor and uh, I don't know if this is public information. I'm pretty sure it is. This is information that you can go online and uh look it up and you know see for yourself but basically a reactor had went on to expose the other day that uh gerard is currently in the process of exposing Liv for uh, a, an income withholding so basically i guess since she has not been paying child support uh i guess he has issued for the courts to basically hold her income now a lot of people were thinking like okay well if it is a income withholding then that means she would no longer be getting paid from youtube and you know she's just gonna have to quit her channel but basically what the income withholding means is that she still will be getting paid from youtube but uh the courts will uh automatically be taking the money out of her checks and they basically uh sent the uh sent youtube basically a notice to take out the money out of her check for her child support now this obviously is due to the fact that she has not been paying her child support and a lot of people said that since uh last year actually she has not been holding or she has not been uh giving the child support out of her money so i don't know if all at once the child support that she does owe is going to come out of her check or i don't know if starting from this month on she will now be getting the child support automatically taken out of her check and honestly i don't know why that's not what a lot of people do i mean i guess if that is a thing that you can do you know when these men refuse to pay child support you know i would think that you know most of the time the courts would just resort to that but there is people that do get backed up in child support for hundreds of thousands of dollars up to millions i've seen people get backed up in child support and you know obviously that's more so celebrities because it does go off of what you make but this girl is just so pathetic and you know coming from this girl who swears that she is all for her kids and you know she wants to do whatever it takes to get her kids back and you know her kids 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 is, it really is amazing to me that you know i mean i'm, I'm literally amazed at, at the fact that this girl uh has not wanted to take care of her responsibilities as far as in taking care of her children now, i guess she thinks you know she's not sending any money over there because she thinks that gerard and nisha may use it use it or you know knowing her she probably thinks that Gerard will take the money that she uh, gives him for child support and maybe go to the mall and ball out on Nisha. But I'm pretty sure that, you know, Gerard will be using that money for the kids. Now, also, I heard that, you know, something went on with the children's insurance. And basically, uh, it was uh, Liv's duty to not only pay child support, but also pay for the ch uh, the children's insurance, which she has not been doing. So, you know, I'm pretty sure uh, now that he will be getting his child support, he will probably be, you know, figuring out getting the kids situated with the with the insurance and, you know, catching up on some stuff that maybe he wasn't able to get the kids. Like, honestly, I don't know where this girl thinks that you just, you know, get kids taken away and because they're not in your house that you're not obligated to pay for them at the end of the day i mean gerard and nisha are still coming out of their pocket to pay for the kids so you know uh, this is almost like a typical bitter you know bitter debbie baby daddy situation like usually you deal with these things from you know men who become bitter or men who think that you know you'll be spending the money all on uh you know going out or getting your nails done or your new man so they don't want to pay you any child support but you know it just seems like ever since these kids have left she has turned into this mother who just does not want to uh you know do for her kids and i guess you know doesn't want to pay child support now i honestly think that the court should have been done this i think this is long overdue especially if she accumulated over what people were trying to speculate now i don't know you know the whole amount of what the 
the whole situation of what she owes but i definitely do think that it it is a quite a bit amount of money that she does owe, especially if gerard had to go this far as to uh tell the courts to send a notice to youtube that she that she needs to start getting the money taken out of her checks you know right away every month you know, I don't understand why these girls don't get nine to fives. I mean, I understand YouTube wanting to do YouTube and not wanting to go out in the work field and have to work a nine to five and be away from your your children. But at the end of the day, sis, if you are financially struggling this bad and you are becoming this much of a deadbeat mother to where you are not paying for anything for your children. I mean, honestly, I have not heard her really talk about Christmas shopping for the kids. We know last year that she did not do any Christmas shopping for the kids. So who knows? But, you know, that's neither here nor there. I do think that, you know, Christmas is the last thing that, you know, anybody should be worried about for the kids. What the kids need is for her to be making sure that she makes her payments every month so they can get what they need. And I'm pretty sure that Gerard is not having the kids go without over there. You know, Gerard seems to make quite a bit of money himself. And Nisha seems to be making some money herself. So I definitely do think that the, that the kids are not out there just, you know, going without. And, you know, I know that they do seem to be well taken care of. But, uh, you know, it's just truly crazy that, you know, it's come to this point. And honestly, I really give kudos to Gerard. I think at this point now, you know, this is what needed to be done. And I like how Gerard doesn't really speak too many words. He just lets his paperwork and his lawyers talk for him. And that's honestly the best approach to take with Liv, you know. Imagine if Gerard was on here every day and, and Nisha just arguing back and forth with this girl. And it was just, you know, it would be a, a never ending war that would never stop. I really do applaud Gerard for, you know, taking matters into his own hands and doing what he needs to do for his kids. And that's one thing that Gerard has made sure to show th throughout this whole process that, you know, he does not play when it comes to his babies. You know, he's going to get stuff done, get stuff in order. And, you know, if it doesn't go the way that he wants it, he'll just take it to the courts and let the courts figure it out. And which most of the time, you know, that's how you have to deal with people like Liv. It never just, you know, goes OK, just trying to do things cordially and out of the courts. Uh, I don't know what is to happen with, you know, Liv and YouTube. I honestly think that, you know, she uh, will continue to stay on YouTube and continue to try to make this thing work because she's too lazy to really go out and get a nine to five. And we also too know that her mother does help her quite a bit. I mean, we seen when she was in Florida, how her mom, you know, was there 24 seven, uh, her mom, at, you know, was living with her. So I don't understand why she didn't use that time to go get her a nine to five and have her mother watch AJ and she go get a job to, you know, get a lawyer and pay off all this child support that she does. Oh, so that just tells me right there that she is clearly just lazy unmotivated and the only time she's motivated is when a man is in the picture and she's getting something from a man you know when it's her kid she's not driven she's not motivated she's not nothing she has to have a man to get her up and move her so here's the paperwork from the courts and honestly uh as you guys can see it does say december 13th 2021 is when the paperwork was filed but a lot of people were saying that you know that's not right and that is current paperwork so i don't know if he'd been filed it and it's just now taking into effect or he just now filed it and it is going to be in effect and you know i did hear that when it does go in effect uh basically that will be starting this month so she will start getting her child support checks taking out of her checks now honestly it's really bad enough that you are a mother on child support you know that's just not something you hear every hear every day of a woman being on child support for her kids but it's also even worse at the fact that you are not only on child support but you're refusing to pay child support so at this point this woman just seems like she just does not care at all and honestly, I do think that Liv does a lot of this for attention, for drama, for more views, so she could have things to talk about on her channel. And, you know, if she is doing that, like, sis, it's truly sickening because, you know, why would you want to be known as the mother on YouTube that has to pay child support and yet again refuses to pay child support? You know, it's just like one of those things to where you just don't hear every day. And, you know, she still comes online and she shows her face 
and you know she smiles she laughs she speaks on these men that she's talking to so you know it's like sis you know what if you want to see these men and you want to be sleeping around why don't you go get you a sugar daddy that can get you some money for your child support because at this point you're just screwing these people that you know i guess just for fun and at the end of the day you're not getting nothing out of it because uh you're still having to you know like she claims that these dudes pay for nails you know pay for drinks pay for this and that but they won't help you pay for or at least give you a couple dollars so you could use it for your child support now obviously you don't tell them that but you know it's just you know you claim you know this game but clearly you don't know this game because you know if I was in that position I know I would be doing any and everything including finessing to be paying off lawyers and you know whoever else that needed to be paid off to you know have your kids and you know be in the position that you're in so you know kudos to Gerard for doing this stepping up and doing this I think this is well overdue and you know she may say that you know people are saying kudos to uh Gerard because people people hate her but no sis we are saying kudos to Gerard because at the end of the day you know this man could really be out here entertaining your drama having Nisha pull up on you do all these things that you know really you know really show your true colors and your true heart but at the end of the day this man is just serving your paperwork and shutting his mouth and going on about his business and I think that's just the best way to do it there's no other better way to do it and you know I think uh this is just making her even more and more mad. We know that, you know, Liv truly wants a reaction from Gerard and Nisha and she's not getting it. So, you know, we'll, we will see what, how this whole thing unfolds. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys comment your thoughts and opinions down below. You guys know I love hearing uh, you guys' thoughts and opinions. Thank you guys so much and stay tuned for another one. Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different